before we get into this video i just want to quickly say thank you so much for your support through these like four months of me not posting if you've been active on my community section of my channel you will know that i was away studying for my finals and then sadly once i was finally able to enjoy my summer um my little rat juliet passed away we thought that it was a pituitary tumor but it ended up being meningitis and also uh, she had pus in her vagina which we sadly found too late so she died of sepsis um, so I was just kind of not motivated to upload at all because I was grieving uh, and now as you can see I am once again busy but with some news that I think you guys will find very exciting and I'm not going to beat around the bush too much I know that's kind of annoying so I'm just going to introduce you guys to the new pet that I got come here yeah. all right As you can see, I got a puppy. <laughs> Let me set him down. He's so tired. We went out today like three times already because um, he's still like not potty trained at all. Um, so I am trying to obviously avoid him having any accidents at home. So he understands that pottying is only happening outside. Um, but other than that, he's so good. He's a, a cocker spaniel, so that's kind of like his nature to be so calm. He's only six months old and his name is Leo. He just looked at me. <laughs> he already understands his name. That's why I picked like such a short name because it's very easy for dogs to pick up on. Um, and how this whole situation came to be was basically that a friend of my mom's um, got wind of uh, the fact that there was a puppy that needs to be adopted. Yes, for some reason, someone didn't want him. Well, I know the reason. Uh, it was because the owners didn't have time or space. Um, it's kind of weird that they realized that after getting the puppy. And I also asked them like where they got him from. And I am pretty sure that it wasn't an ethical breeder. But what can you do? Um, but yeah, basically we got a message saying this puppy is up for adoption and I just fell in love because I'm just going to put up here the picture that they sent. How do you say no to that stare? Like he looked so sad. Um, so we called around trying to find the owner and then finally once we um, got their contact, we immediately set up a date to like meet him, see if we can like, you know work out some things, maybe see if he w fits into our family. I already knew he would, but my parents obviously wanted to meet him first. Um, and then once we met him, we all fell in love. And the biggest question was obviously, um, is our landlady going to let us have a dog? Because in our contract, it said uh, we live in an apartment that isn't ours. And the contract said that the, you know, she doesn't let us have any pets. But for some reason, we asked her and she said, as long as he doesn't bark, that's no problem for me. He does bark sometimes, you know, when he gets like startled or something. Um, but it's really seldom, like he's actually a very, very quiet puppy. Um, so that works out perfectly. He's also, you know, Cocker Spaniels, they don't, um, they aren't too large at an adult size. So it's just the perfect dog for us because he isn't too big. He also doesn't lose much hair. He doesn't bark. We obviously have to potty train him, but that, that's like every puppy. And he's the, so sweet, like so, such a sweetheart. And I've been having so much fun and he really has helped me also with grieving Juliet's death because um, Apart from Juliet now dying, not from old age, but from an infection, the other raddies, they are like one year and almost like 90 months old already. 
And as you all know, rats live about two to three years. Three years is like max. Um, if you get to four, that's kind of crazy. <laughs> um, and I applaud you for that. So I am just with a heavy heart really expecting um, them to pass away like next year, the beginning of the next year or something like that. So I think that um, with me also turning 18 and studying animal psychology and finally being done with school, it just, it kind of clicked everything. I don't know how I got this lucky and he's such a sweetheart. Right now he's so tired, but I'm going to link in some videos at the end of us playing and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to make this little announcement and also um, kind of like as a way to dive back into YouTube and start making videos again because he's making me so happy that it makes me want to film him, you know? So I hope you guys... Uh, will love him as much as I do and you can from now on expect a ton of videos um, of how to train your puppy this and that what to do kind of like ideas um, stuff like that you know whatever I come up with uh, so yeah I hope you guys are up for the ride and I'll see you guys in the next video bye